Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to take up a question which will show you um, how to calculate the compass error and the resulting deviation using chart book. So in that regards, I'll take up a question here and uh, I'll use a particular chart, but uh, don't be uh, too stressed about not having the chart or this not being applicable to uh, the kind of uh, preparation that you are doing for your exams because this is not so much about the chart that I'm using or about the answer I'm getting and you not being able to work along with me. This is more about you looking at the question, uh, seeing the wording of the question and understanding it in your context of studies. So you may be using a separate chart or separate location, but once you understand how questions are formed and how you can interpret information from it and find the answer, it's more about that. So the question here is that uh, the southern tips of East Monaco and West Monaco Islands are in transit bearing. The transit bearing is 251 degrees compass. Uh, so you have to note here that the bearing is uh, of a compass bearing, not the true bearing. Uh, while the range of East Monaco Island is 1.5 miles by radar, you have to fix the vessel's position first and then find the deviation of the compass if the vessel is headed for, for number one boy of the corner inlet. Uh, to solve this question, uh, I will require uh, Australian chart 802. Now some of you will have this chart and some of you won't. Uh, like I said before, don't think too much about that. Read the question and see whether you can interpret from this question as to what you would have done if you had the chart available. So this is more about you learning about the method of finding the compass error if questions are framed like that. All right. However, if you have the chart, feel free to work with me and compare your answers with me. Uh, finally, you, we also have to find the deviation. Does the deviation that we obtain using the chart work, whether it agrees with the expected value. So what is the expected value? And again, you will not have information to this. Normally, the expected values are provided to us in a deviation card. And the deviation card is posted next to the steering wheel. It's posted next to the steering compass rather. And uh, a deviation card is made once every two years or if uh, there are major structural changes or um, major components change which may affect the deviation of the compass card. So here in this question, of course, I'll take uh, a compass card that is uh, relevant to the question. But for you guys, when you're on the ships, you can use a deviation card that is provided on the ship's bridge. Uh, again, um, see the question, think about how you would have gone about solving it. And uh, now watch how I go solving it and see whether it matches or not. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing uh, we have to do is to draw the transit bearing of the Monaco Islands, the west and the east. So you see, this is the west Monaco Island and this is the east Monaco Island. Now here you have to be very mindful because I made a mistake here as well uh, while solving a question. You can see the west Monaco Island and there is a smaller portion which is just jutting out of it. So that's part of the island. So you have to make sure that when you draw the transit bearing, you draw it through this uh, and take the southern tip of the East Monaco as well. All right. So uh, what we'll do is we'll make sure that they are in one line. So what I do that is uh, I use the inner edge of the parallel ruler and I put it in line with the southern tips of both the islands. Right. And I'll, I'll join them to make sure that uh, they are in one line. All right, and then this is uh, uh, they they this is the uh, be bearing that I've joined um, by joining the southernmost tips of both the islands, and then you have to get the ship's position by plotting 1.5 miles of the East Monaco Island. So when you come on the edge of the chart. Uh, you can see here that uh, this is of course southern latitude so you can see 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so you can see each division is about one mile so if i have to measure 1.5 this is how i will measure it because the divisions in the middle are 0.2 of a nautical mile right so somewhere here so this is one mile and then this is 0.5 so what i'll do is i'll come back to the east monaco island and then from east monaco island I will draw 1.5 miles. Now I will draw it from the light here because it says that uh, the radar picked up the East Monaco Island light uh, from uh, 1.5 miles off, right? So the radar can only see the light. So we'll take the light 
as the center to mark the 1.5 miles and I got my ship's position here. So this is where my ship's position would be and from here I will have to head uh, to number one boy of the corner uh, inlet. So to do uh, to show you the number one boy I can go a bit north of the chart and you can see here uh, this is where corner inlet is right and the number one boy is right here. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll draw a course uh, that will join these two positions and from that I can get my ship setting. So what again I'm doing is I'm uh, using the inside edge of the uh, parallel ruler and I'm making sure that these two uh, are joined in one course and you can join it of course if you want to and uh, there you go. Alright, so I'll measure the heading uh, later. First, I have to calculate my compass error. So how do I calculate my compass error? Uh, first, I have to see what is the true bearing of these two islands, the southern tips of the two islands. What is the true bearing of these two? Because uh, I, what I have in the question is the compass bearing uh, and which is given as 251 degrees compass. Now, I will get the true bearing by moving uh, the parallel ruler to the compass rows and I'll put the center of the inner edge of the parallel ruler in the center of the compass rows and the bearing I'm getting is about 254 degrees compass, right? So my true bearing is uh, 254 degrees is my true bearing and my compass bearing from the question is 251 degrees compass, right? So compass uh, west error best but here uh, compass is not the best compass is least so error will be east so my error would be three degrees east is my compass error all right so three degrees east my compass error now i have to find the variation and then i can get my deviation so the variation of the compass rows nearest to my position over here you can see if i bring you very close here you can see 13 degrees east is the last variation calculated in 2013 and then there has been no error since I mean there has been no annual correction to be applied from 2013 so uh, this is what we take as the variation 13 degrees east but uh, this position is in the middle of two compass roses so if I go back and if I see there's another compass rose here north of that position uh, so here the variation is 12 degree and 50 minutes east found in 2013 and there has been no annual correction since so my variation based on my position will be somewhere in the center, right? So between 13 degrees east and 12 degree 50 minutes east, I will make it 12 degree 55 minutes east. So that will be about 12.9 degrees. So if I say my variation is 12.9 degrees east is my variation, right? So my deviation in this case would be about 9.9 .9 degrees west is my deviation all right so that is my deviation now we have to compare this deviation uh, based on our deviation card now to do that let's first see what is my uh, true heading so when i go from when I join these two positions, the number one boy along with my position here, all right, I will see what is my ship's heading. Now this heading that I will get is my ship's true heading. You have to be mindful of that, right? So this is the true heading. So the heading I am getting by moving the parallel ruler is about 0, 0, 003 degrees. So this is my true heading. So my true heading, true heading or true course you can say is 0, 0, 003 degrees true. All right, now I have to compare my variation of 9.9 .9 degrees west. Now this is for a true heading of 0, 0, 003 degrees true. Now this is the deviation card that has been there. Now on your ships you will have deviation card as well. And the deviation card could be for true heading or it could be for compass heading. Uh, just go and have a look when you go back to the ship. But here you can see that uh, this is for a compass heading. All right, it says compass card, it means compass heading, not for the true heading. So first I have to convert my true heading uh, to a compass course or a compass heading and to do that I just have to apply my variation. So what I'll do is I'll apply my variation 
of 12.9 degrees east so variation east magnetic is least so if i have to round it off this will be my magnetic heading because uh, it's easier to work with so i'll assume this is about 13 degrees east right so my magnetic heading will become about 350 degrees magnetic magnetic compass all right so what i have to see is how much is my uh, deviation according to my deviation card for 350 now this will be between 10 degrees east and 6 degrees east so i am actually way off right there is a big difference so this magnetic heading of 350 lies somewhere between here but i can see that my variation is in the eastern in the eastern uh, side 10 degrees east to 6 degrees west 6 degrees east but the variation i have found is 9.9 .9 degrees west so there is a there is a big difference here and that is the the reason could be that now you have to make a new deviation card or there could be some local local magnetic anomalies or local magnetic influences uh, which are affecting the ship's deviation right now so that is how you compare it and uh, this is pretty much the question i'll see you soon with my next video and uh, hopefully we can take this learning forward actually before i uh, finish the video i forgot to show you guys one thing you also have to determine the position uh, your position from where you'll be heading for number one boy and that position is of course where your uh, transit bearing and your range of 1.5 miles have intersected this position here so you have to uh, determine this position uh, from the chart of course so if i use the inside edge of my ruler the position i get is about 13.5 so this is 10 11 12 13.5 minutes south and uh, my longitude will be here so my longitude for this position if i use the inside edge of the ruler is about 34.4 minutes so 34.4 minutes so my this position here is uh, 39 degrees 13.5 minutes south and 146 degrees 34.4 minutes east all right so that was also required to be determined so we've determined this position here and we've determined the compass error and we have also determined uh, how to compare it uh, how to compare the deviation obtained from the deviation card all right so in this case of course there's a big difference in the deviation and uh, that i told you is because could be because of the magnetic anomalies so for us 350 will be somewhere here and the deviation will be somewhere in the middle here could be 8 degrees east or something like that which is very different from 9.9 .9 degrees west that we have got Alright, so here I'll stop the video now. I think I've pretty much covered all the aspects of the question. Let me know what you thought about this video. Bye.